Good evening. My name is Andrew Smith, and I would like to tell you about America's racist culture. The land of the free. It's a motto that our country has lived by for many years since the freeing of the slaves or the Emancipation Proclamation. The truth is, how free is this country? Has it ever been free? Will it ever be free? Let's look into that and take a deeper dive. In the early years of the settlement of, the, of North America, um, Native Americans were the first. They only settled a very small portion of the land and faced incredibly tough times as the elements were difficult and the lack of developments in medicine and technology made it very hard during these times. In the late 1400s, I'm sorry, um, Spanish conquistadors began to come to America and settle the southwest portion of the country. They did this with the help of the Native Americans. Now, this marked the beginning of slavery. However, it was not like the slavery we know today. During this time, the natives were willing to be enslaved in order to help fight off the elements with the help of the conquistadors. It was until 1619 that Native American slaves were the sole use of labor in the settlement of North America. In 1619, the Portuguese arrived with about 20 Africans that they had capsized off of their ship. These Africans were sold into slavery and used for the settling of the country. Now this event is what largely expanded the use of slaves and the beginning of slave trade. This is the point in which slavery became racist. Now, over the years that slave owners had their slaves from the time of the 1400s when natives were enslaved to 1863 when Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, during these nearly 500 years slave owners had became a normal thing and just this way of life had just became so normal for anyone who was and was not a slave um so when when lincoln signed the emancipation proclamation in 1863 therefore fl freeing all slaves Slave owners obviously were not happy. Um, this took away their labor, um, so obviously it took away from their families. Um, and when they were thinking of Africans and natives as just labor horses rather than humans, uh, really enraged them. Um, so during the Reconstruction era, the beginning of it, after the Emancipation Proclamation, Slave owners formed racist groups such as the Ku Klux Klan. Um, they would take these groups and hold mass lynchings in large towns, um, really giving African Americans just something to constantly fear when, truthfully, they were finally supposed to be free. Generations have passed, and within the last 30 years, it seems that slavery has still found itself present in our culture today. Unfortunately, now it has even gotten worse. Um, this is in the form of racism in our police force. Uh, police brutality 
towards African Americans has become very prevalent over the past 30 years, um, starting, of course, with the famous, brutal, disgusting beating of Rodney King as he was stopped in 1992 by a group of police officers for a traffic stop. Um, He was pulled from his car and beat. Um, The officers were then acquitted of their charges, which caused havoc in the towns as African Americans repented um, by setting fires, looting, destroying stores, they would target um, target motorists and beat them for no reason. But of course they were doing this because someone of their own race had been brutally attacked and beaten for essentially no reason. And now, just a couple of years ago, as sad as it is, We had another instance just like this where Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was recorded holding his knee to the back of George Floyd's neck for over nine minutes, eventually leading to his death. Um, This arrest slash murder was filmed and... It led to just a complete civil unrest for America across the entire country. Um, starting in Minneapolis, there were there were many riots. There was much damage done to police stations, police merchandise, police property. Um, this feared this got so bad in 2020 that it seemed almost that we we may face a type of race war or civil war in our country it's truthfully terrifying as i'm not sure if we will ever lose this racist culture way of life in america um it's become just such a so attached to the name to the country that it seems like impossible. Impossible that it will ever be gone. So in the eyes of African Americans, with all the racist racism continuing, you really can't blame them for fighting for their freedoms. Although it may be in the form of breaking the law, It is without a doubt that these police officers, these slave owners, these racist leaders, they're breaking the law too. So conclusively, it's no real surprise that the nation has been unable to rid this racist way of life as there have just been so many more years that our country has went through it than it has been that we've been trying to rid of it. And now, in the modern day, with these issues continuing to happen, high-quality videos being taken and posted for everyone to see, It's nice to be hopeful to think that this will open the eyes to many Americans and eventually cause a change. But the truth is, the land of the free may never be free again. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a good night.